Good morning, Keith Herm, Davis County Fire Department Inspector Investigator. We're out at Hagen's Outdoor Power Equipment here in Philpot this morning. One of our many community partners is always willing to help us out. Today we're going to talk a little bit about something that's happened a lot to us this year. We've had about a half a dozen fires that originated in a garage or a uh, storage building due to putting up a mower hot and uh, not cleaned off. So today we're going to talk about what you could do to change that, uh, how we should treat that mower. You know, that mower gets hot. Uh, car engine, muffler on a car engine gets anywhere from 1,000 to 1,600 degrees, depending on the nature of the engine. A lot more is anywhere from three to 600 degrees, but those mufflers are in different spots and they also get a lot of debris around them. Leaves, uh, grass clippings, just all kinds of different debris that uh, is a light flashy fuel. And we also put the mowers up hot and we, and we put them in the garage in the area where we want to store it. Uh, and it's always in a corner somewhere near something that uh, it probably shouldn't be near boxes of things we have in our garage, curtains, things such as that. I'm going to talk about a mower back here behind me here in just a moment that uh, is, is dirty, needs to be blown off. It's got clippings all over it. We think about the muffler being the hottest area. Also a deck can cause us problems too. You can have a belt or an idler that is overheating, not running properly. If it's too hot to touch, leave the mower outside. You want to let that mower sit outside and cool off. Don't put it up immediately. Pull that mower up to where you're going to stop. Let it run a few minutes. Let the engine cool down, shut it off, and let it sit 15, 20, even 30 minutes. Uh, I know we're all in a big hurry. We always want to put everything up and, and go on to the next task or the next project. Let it sit outside, cool off. Then you can start it up and pull it in and, and park it after that. It's going to have cooled tremendously. That startup driving in after it cools off is not going to heat it up near as much as running, you know, 30 minutes, two or three hours, whatever it takes you to mow your lawn. So here we're going to look at this deck. This deck has got a lot of debris on it, a lot of clippings. I, I actually even see some trash up, up in here on the deck. Obviously, this mower is here for some repair. Something is wrong with it. But uh, whoever the mower belongs to, you know, possibly could have cleaned it up before they brought it in, and, and they'll clean it up here. But this is what we're talking about. This is a very light, flashy fuel. This gets around the muffler, gets around a hot bearing or a pulley. We're gonna have a fire in, in, in no time at all. So things that you wanna make sure of is just clean it off. Uh, there's some trash, again, more clippings. And this, this stack of clippings on this mower is about four inches thick. So think about that uh, if it were to catch fire. It's a, it's a very quick, flashy fuel, but it's gonna get into other items on this mower that's gonna really take off. Fuel tank is on the other side of this mower. So we're not near the fuel tank, but there is an idler and a pulley on the other side as well. This uh, mower is a rear engine rider. The muffler is on the rear. So we're, we're not near the muffler with all these clippings, but still this debris gets everywhere. So the simplest thing is to do is just take that blower, blow this off. So one thing you may have noticed before I started blowing, I, I changed my glasses, put on my safety glasses. That's something you always want to do because this blowing debris around, you, nothing worse than getting some of that in your eye and you have to pay a visit to the eye doctor to have that grass clipping or that piece of debris removed. Blew off some of the deck. I actually raised the seat up and blew off under the seat. Under the seat on this mower is the battery and that's where you're going to find a lot of batteries on a lot of mowers, under the seat or behind the seat in that area there as well. Again, we can have an electrical short, something overheating there. Uh, just anything that's going to produce heat, you want to get that debris away from. Next, we're going to look at a uh, mower with the muffler on the rear and talk about temperatures and how it can get close to things. And then we'll look at a lawn tractor type and uh, look at some debris around the engine on that as well. All right, now we're, we're behind a, a skag. This is what I would consider a commercial grade mower. As you'll see, the muffler on this mower is uh, sticking out the back on the right hand side of the mower. So even our commercial mowers, you know, if you've got a line service and you have two or three mowers, it's still a good idea to let that mower cool off before you put it inside. Clean it off. Uh, back when I was on shift, I worked for a mowing company locally, and that's something we done every day. We cleaned the mowers before we put them up. Uh, just good common practice. That way they were ready to go for the next day. But think about that muffler there, you know, five to 600 degrees, you're, you're finished mowing and you back in up next to some boxes in your garage or your shop or, or even a curtain over a window. It's not going to take much for that that hot item to, uh, to light off that, that flashy fuel, that fuel that you may park next to and not even realize. So again, clean them off and, and be mindful where you're parking. And again, 30 minutes outside, that mower is going to cool tremendously, e even 10 to 15 minutes. But 30 is a good rule of thumb. That way it cools completely down. All the fluids cool off. The deck will cool off and things will be uh, much safer to put inside that building. Next, we're going to look at a uh, lawn tractor type. We're going to get up under the hood and look at that engine and talk about where the muffler is on it, where the biggest heat producing item is. All right, now we're looking at a, a lawn tractor type. This is a Cub Cadet with a, a lift-up hood. It's what I would consider a lawn tractor 
uh, rather than a zero turn or a rear engine rider. Muffler on it is up in the very front. What we've got here, we've got a lot of debris up in behind the engine. It's in the area where all the gears, uh, the gear assembly is driving the transmission that's driving the deck. So again, an area that would be problematic. Here's our starter. If we were gonna have some kind of arc or something happen here, that's where everything is coming in. Again, the battery is under the seat. Muffler is at the very bottom, but still that debris can get anywhere, anywhere you've got a, a heat producing item, whether it's that muffler, that starter, or those uh, pulleys and belts on the deck, things like that. Again, let it sit outside and let it cool off. So we looked at a, uh, a lawn tractor type. We'll finish up talking here in just a minute about buildings and things such as that. All right, to finish up, I uh, just want to thank our friends here at Hagen's Outdoor Equipment for allowing us to come up. Again, we always look for those community partners that want to help us keep our citizens safe and just allowing us to look around those mowers and talk about some things that you can do to, to maybe prevent that fire from happening. Again, the big building here behind me is one of Hagen's warehouses. So think, think about parking your mower inside of that. Your mower is several thousand dollars, but your building is several more thousand dollars. So let that mower stay outside and cool off. Don't take a chance on damaging a, a, a prized piece of property you have there at home. Again, just leave it outside, 30 minutes is a good rule of thumb, but let it cool off and then uh, blow it off. You know, get all that debris off the deck and off around the engine and off around that muffler and be mindful where you park it. I realize we're all in a big hurry, but those uh, mufflers can reach up to 600 degrees and you put it beside a combustible product, it's gonna cause that fire. And if you're having some kind of trouble, you've had a short or you've got an oil leak, again, that's always good to have that looked at and repaired and uh, leave it outside and let it cool off and see what's going on with it. Hope this was helpful. Hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.